Is free shipping really free? What is up, beautiful people? TJ and April here with another Table Talk video. Today, we're going to be talking about free shipping and whether or not we think that it's really free. I mean, I don't, I mean, we're not like the end all be all of free shipping. Right. <laughs> this is definitely going to be our um, expertise or our experiences with free shipping versus yes. not free shipping. Um, so, April, what do you think about free shipping? Do you think that we should do free shipping always? Do you think okay, that's a so man we, do you think it's mandatory? So, listen. <laughs> You know, if you're asking me, I say put shipping on everything, <laughs> if you ask me. Not in all cases, but for the most part, I'm I'm, I'm pro as the person to pay for shipping. It, I'm uh, I'm about there. I think there's sometimes where I go through and I look and I say, wow, oh, that should be free shipping. Because, you know, sometimes you put shipping on your price or, you know, on the price of the item. Mm -hmm. And just because you put the amount of shipping on the item um that doesn't mean that the shipping is free because you know somebody still has to pay for shipping obviously right. you know because it's just free shipping is like a fallacy it's like not even right. it's not real right because like okay sure in your brain <laughs> when you look at it like when you go to purchase something on ebay and you go buy something that's 52.99 and you're like, oh, okay, it's free shipping. But is it really free? Because, like, they probably added in the seven ninety nine dollars that it's going to cost to, sh to ship this item to you. So, in in reality, the item is probably only 40 bucks, Right. You know? Yeah. Um, and I see that's what a lot of people do. Um, they inflate the price to um, include the shipping, which that works in some markets. In some, some markets, it don't. Some, sometimes it just doesn't allow you to add um, something into the cost like it doesn't you can't add the shipping into the cost for example like i you know i can buy something and we pay a dollar 99 for it um but it's only selling for three or four dollars like and it might cost me three or four dollars for shipping i can't put the four dollars i can't charge you ten dollars for something that's only selling for five bucks it's right. just not it's not gonna work yeah um I, I think it's easier to hide and depending on what items you have. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're doing things that are smaller, lower cost items, I think it's harder to hide the shipping cost inside of the item. So you will have to you're either going to a lose on shipping or yeah. B um, you're going to be outpriced in, in those items. Right. So, you know, you may have an item like April was talking about that you bought for a pretty low price. Let's just say you bought it from a thrift store for a dollar and it's selling for $10 on eBay. Well, if you do $10, plus free shipping, you know, the minimum that you're going to pay for shipping is what, $3.45 or whatever right, it is, right. the minimum. Plus you're going to pay your eBay fee. So really you're not really profit, profiting that much. Um, you may be doubling your money. So now we're talking about doubling a buck. Right. <laughs> and anybody got time for that? When I think that a lot of people um, come into reselling and they think they, they hear all these things from, uh, you know, bigger sellers or people that have been, that's more experienced. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that are more experienced that have the volume to support free, uh, shipping, free shipping on, on every single item, on every single item. Yeah. They are telling them like, Oh, you need to do free shipping because a right. real reseller, you know, if you really, it's true about doing it, you'll be, you'll do free shipping. I'm like, well, that just doesn't work for everybody. It's not, doesn't work for everybody. Right. Because like if, if I'm selling, I don't know, 200 items a day, well, I probably can afford to give free shipping because out of those 200 items, I'm probably going to have some high price um, items that I've sold. So it's going to compensate, you know, it's going to make up the difference for the things that I was able to do free shipping on where I might be losing um, in profits. Right. You know, yeah. I might, you know, I have stuff on here for a dollar and I'm selling it to you for, you know, a dollar and I'm not offering any shipping on it's free shipping where well, it's cost me three dollars even to ship something for a dollar. Right. You know, so I'm losing two dollars right off back, you know, just yeah. right from the beginning with that. But if I'm selling two hundred items and I've sold a hundred items that cost, you know, a hundred dollars a piece, well, that shipping doesn't matter. Right. You know, so of course you can do that. But if you're somebody who is doesn't have volume, you know, you selling five things at the most, I mean you you just 
it's just not possible. Right. You, need to, you just, you need to add shipping. Yeah. And, and see a lot of people get caught up in that. And especially when they come in and they're a new reseller and they don't understand mm-hmm. how shipping works, you know, you may not have your shipping profile set up correctly, or you may be paying, you know, you may be shipping everything with uh, the postal service, oh, where as you probably need to be <laughs> shipping these heavier items with FedEx, um, you know, that can be a, that's a whole nother topic talking about how to right. set up your actual shipping profiles for what you're going to be shipping. But, you know, if you come into come into it with the mentality that everything should be free shipping, you're going to end up losing a lot of money. And right. a lot of people probably dip out of free selling because they get they're not profitable. Funny story. Mm-hmm. So I was talking to this guy um, because, you know, I work at I have another job. And um, he came in and he was talking to one of the girls that didn't know that we do this um, reselling thing. And so he started selling on uh, Amazon and he was like, he couldn't figure out the shipping. So he was talking to her about the shipping and she was like, you know, you probably should talk to April about the shipping. So I, I talked to him. He was like, how do anybody make any money on shipping? Because like I'm paying like way more money on shipping than I am on the actual items. I don't see how anybody, and it's because he didn't have his shipping profiles um set up correctly and he was doing exactly what you were saying he was Mm -hmm. he he was shipping books and he wasn't using media mail which you know you don't know these things like when you first start so and like you said he was about ready to be like "Mm, yeah i'm done (laughs) reselling is not for me i don't see how people can make money so i think i i think that's why you gotta and that was one of our biggest things when we, yeah, first when started. we started when we first started um shipping was like it was killing us and i think that's something that you know you have to look at when you first start doing this you gotta decide okay who's gonna pay for this shipping because shipping is expensive right yeah you know and 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 this also needs to go it needs to trickle down into your sourcing so when you source the items you have to think about these things and say you know what i'm going to be selling this item you know i'm going to pay three dollars for this item whatever the item is but i know that i'm probably going to be able to get 15 20 bucks for this item Mm -hmm. but how much is shipping going to cost how much are the fees going to you have to incorporate all those things because it may seem like a really good deal it may seem like you're gonna make 10 15 bucks on this item but when you factor in all the costs that comes in with it Mm -hmm. including shipping and all those other other different things then you have to say okay i'm not gonna get the item because i'm not gonna make any money on that item or it's not gonna be worth my time to list that item if i'm not gonna you know be profitable um, with all the stuff that goes along with with shipping the items, right? And we had a April was talking about earlier in our career, our reselling career. Uh, mm-hmm. I remember selling a light. You remember those light fixtures? Mm-hmm. We was very profitable mm-hmm. with the light fixtures, so it wasn't necessarily like the biggest of deal because we profited so much on that pallet that we bought, but. I remember getting a bill in the mail for ninety six dollars after we had already paid yes. like fifty something dollars for shipping that light. for one light fixture. I remember that light. Yeah, and we sold it for a pretty decent amount. Yeah, it was like a hundred. It was yeah. like a hundred something dollars that we sold, yeah. and we only paid two dollars for the light fixture. Right, we sold it for, it, but like I remember <laughs> because that was the one that they returned mm-hmm. because it got broken. It was the broken. Ma- mm-hmm. It got broken the mail, and so that was a whole other story. We got <laughs> getting our money back from you know FedEx or whatever. But then we had to turn around. We double. Like we put it in this big huge box mm-hmm. and it was like probably probably five, it was probably was five hundred <laughs> pounds, okay? So and we did, you know, we just we did the label based on what we thought and then of course we got the bill and it was like <laughs> What is happening? I don't ever now. remember paying that bill. I, I remember getting the bill in the mail, but I don't ever remember paying it. So we yeah. made OFedEx still like $96 for it because it's, I was like, I very, ain't paying no $96 for something we already shipped. It's very possible. <laughs> but I think overall, you know, it's just, I think it's a mentality thing and you really have to look at your business model. Now, everybody uh, is not a career reseller. You know, everybody's right. not doing it full time. Right. It's not, everybody's not doing reselling to pay their bills or they're not re- relying on their reselling income to pay their bills. So the people that are doing it part-time, they may not worry about structuring it in a way right? to looking at their sourcing model and all those other different things right. to, to, to do free shipping. So it may be more beneficial for them to just do it on a per item basis and look at the shipping on a per item basis and right. say, okay, well this item, it's going to, I know it's going to cost me probably between seven and $10 to ship this item. So we're going to split the cost and I'm going to pay three fifty, and they'll pay three fifty right. or and whatever it is. And I do that a lot. So mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like the running joke, like in the reselling community, just about me and my, me add, you know, <laughs> adding shipping to everything because 
when I go in, I look at something and I, you know, look at our um, items that we're selling and I see something without ship, uh, without shipping. I know exactly that TJ. No, I probably. just put, I put on a no shipping, free shipping. Everybody, he, free shipping. Everybody, probably, you get free shipping. You get free shipping. Right. He probably <laughs> did it, but I don't, I don't do that. I kind of look at it like what TJ said. I kind of look at it and decide if it's something that we can offer free shipping for or if I can get away with um putting shipping on and you know when you go into ebay particularly and um do your shipping it'll tell you it'll say 90 percent of these offer free shipping or 50 percent of these offer free shipping so if it's 50 percent well shoot half half of everybody is asking for shipping so people are paying right. for shipping so you can ask you know i will add shipping or if it's like something that's like cost two hundred dollars. It's probably gonna cost us seven dollars to ship it. I probably would do free shipping for an item like that. And nine times out of ten, those items are ninety percent free shipping. Right. Um. But if it's something that's two ninety nine, and it's gonna cost me three ninety nine to ship it, well, I'm gonna add shipping to that. And most of the time, people will pay. They just go in knowing I'm gonna have to pay shipping right. on it. You know, and you think that people won't pay it, but they will. Yeah, and we've yeah. switched over because we used to be very much free shipping because we was listening to everybody. You know, like yeah. oh, you got to do free shipping, so yeah. we was trying to do free shipping, and it about it about knocked the business out yeah. because we was paying so much for shipping, we wasn't really making a lot of money where we could buy new stuff and we could you know grow our business, and so we started slowly adding on shipping, and lo and behold, people pay for shipping. Yeah, people you know, people I mean, actually pay for shipping. What's what's crazy is, I think. I think me and you talked about this, but let's say this mug right here, you know, let's say we're going to sell that or whatever. And it's selling on eBay for $19.99 free shipping. Mm -hmm. But I only need to sell it for $10 and I know it's going to cost me $5. Well, I can list it for $10.99 and $5 shipping and they're going to pay for it because it's cheaper. Right. Like people go into eBay and they will sort by the, sh the, um, just the price, yeah. By the price, you know, and say it's cheaper. Well, I'm selling it for sixteen ninety nine, you know, total right. ten ninety nine for the thing and five ninety nine for the shipping, and they like, well, I'll buy this because it's cheaper. Yeah. So you know, you can do that. Yeah, People, but I think that you know, Amazon kind of did a, oh, a disservice uh, to did. to resellers because of the whole free shipping, and you know, people have to realize that Amazon is a billion dollar multi-billion dollar company right. so they have contracts with the the postal service the uh, fedex all these places it's fedex i think yeah. is it fedex that you get or is it ups it, it it's one of them they, they yeah. use one of them. i can't remember which one they I use i think it's ups it's ups okay well right. they they have a, a a service with them i'm talking about prime shipping right and they have a contract with them and that contract is probably negotiated very low rates in terms yeah. of shipping. And the reason that we know this is because it is UPS, because we ship things to um, to fulfillment by Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you right now, we can have a uh, 24 by 24 by 24 box that weighs 49 pounds and, and the like, shipping be $4.87. I was just going to say $4.87. <laughs> $4 the, the shipping is, is dirt cheap, so I can only imagine – what Amazon is actually paying to ship out all these packages mm -hmm. to everybody. They're not paying, they're paying pennies on the dollar versus what the package, the the one that you're going to send out to somebody. Right. The average consumer. Yeah. The average no. consumer. So let alone, you know, you use your eBay discount to pay for shipping. You know, you're already getting a discount, but think about people that's actually paying for um, right. the commercial rates. You know, those, Shipping costs are like astronomical. Mm -hmm. And so Amazon has kind of embedded it into people's minds that, hey, sh uh, you know, you should have free shipping. But right. then also you got to look at for Prime. Prime ain't free. No, it's not. You, you pay, pay for a, it. Uh, you pay for you it. You pay for it. It's like $119 yeah, a just year or whatever. Or whatever <laughs> the other day. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's not free, even though people think about it like, oh, it's free shit. Well, it's not free. Yeah, you're paying you a pay fee. In, you're paying for it. Right. Oh, they going to get their money. Yeah, it's it's a perk. And Amazon is very calculated, so they understand the logistics. They understand. They they built their own logistics for sh for delivering stuff. They have right. their own delivery service. Right. Um, so, you know, they, they understand the logistics of shipping things, so they know what they can offer free shipping on, and they know how fast they can get it to somebody. Us as just normal, regular resellers, right. we don't have it like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're depending on, and that's why a lot of you see a lot of these businesses like make you spend X amount of dollars before, before they free. before it, before it's free shipping, and like you can like implement that into your own business model. Like 
And that's kind of what we do. Like, well, if it's over fifty dollars and way less than this, then we'll we'll offer free shipping on it. Right. But if it's a two dollar item, it's probably gonna have some sh- some type of shipping on it, whether you know it's the full shipping price or we split um, the shipping right. cost. And you know that's just the way I think about things. Yeah. Yeah, so let us know in the comment section below if y'all do free shipping or if you do not do free shipping. I know it's probably going to be, I ain't going to say 50-50. I yeah. bet you it's going to be like 70-30. I bet you it's uh, <laughs> yeah. going to be a majority that goes one way or the other. I don't know which yeah. way that is, but uh, I'd be curious to see what you guys do as resellers. And some of you guys I know aren't resellers, but um, if you are resellers, let me know in the comment section below what you know what you do, what, you, what your business model is yeah. for, for shipping. Because you never know, you may be able to help somebody that has – a similar situation to you right um and and you know you can help help out a fellow reseller right and if you're not a reseller and you're just a consumer you go out and purchase let us know what you do like when you see shipping costs versus free shipping do you are you just like nope it's not free shipping i'm just automatically not gonna buy it or you don't care right because you really want the item so you're gonna pay the 2.99 shipping costs or whatever. Yep. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, so if you want to check out a video on the fastest way to list your items on eBay, me versus April style, check out this video right here. <laughs>